Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. Steve played in 14 basketball games. He scored a total of 53 field goals with two points each and 20 free throws, one point each. What was his average score per game? So this is another question off the ASVAB number 21. We're going to go ahead and work through here. Now, in this case, we're finding an average. So since he played 14 games, we're going to find his total number of points and divide that answer by 14. So let's start off with the field goals, two point each. If we have 53 field goals that he made, 53 times that two is going to end up giving us 106. Now we have the additional 20 points that he got from a free throw. So all together, between the two we have 126 points scored so now we're going to have to divide that guy by our 14 now notice 14 is not going to go in the 12 so really we're just saying how many times does it go in the whole thing looking at this I think I see the answer pretty quickly and that's because 14 times 10 is going to end up giving me 140 this is less than that but not by much in fact it's exactly 14 less than that so I'm just going to go ahead and say we're going to be multiplying by 9 here. 14 times 9 gives you 126, so we're good to go, which means our final answer for the average here is 9B. How many yards of fencing do you need to enclose a rectangular yard that is 42 by 84 feet long so in this case i'm looking at 42 on my short side we got 84 on my wide size and they want to know how much fencing you need to enclose the rectangular yard now i went ahead and drew this out to remind us that if i want to fence around the whole thing i'm going to need to make sure to double each one of these numbers because i got this fence over here and this fence over here so we got 42 over here as well and another 84 here now in this case our final answer is just going to be by adding up these four numbers but in this case, right off the bat, I see 42 plus 42 is going to give me 84. Plus these two 84s means that really we're just doing 84 times 3 because we have 84, 84, and then that 84. I say that's because remember, there is no calculator on this test. So whatever way is faster for you, adding up 84 three times or multiplying, you do you, but there's no calculator to help you out. So in this case, 4 times 3 is going to give me 12, carry the 1, 3 times... 8 is going to give me 24 plus the 1 is 25 meaning my final answer here is 252 that looks like it's answer b call it a day because we're done how many feet of baseboard would you need to go around a rectangular room if the room has a length of 12 feet and a width of seven and a half feet and you must deduct a four feet for a doorway so we're looking at a room here all right we got seven and a half over here we got 12 feet on the long side and at some point there's a door that's got four feet that we got to take care of so in this case when we are looking around the outside of a rectangle, that's our perimeter. You get that by adding up all the side lengths. So that means we have seven and a half here. We got another seven and a half here because it's a rectangle. 12 down here and another 12 up here. Now, what I'm going to do is find my final answer and then just go ahead and subtract off that four. So right off the bat, I see a half here and a half here, which seems scary, but since I have two halves, that's just the whole. So when I do seven plus seven, which gives me 14, I'm going to add one more for those two halves to give me 15. We then have a 12 up here and another 12 down low. So when we're looking all together here, we have 15 plus 12 plus 12, 5 plus 2 is 7, another 2 is 9. We got three ones out front here. And don't forget, we got to subtract off that 4. So although we got a perimeter of 39, way to go. We're going to subtract off the 4. And 39 minus 4 is just going to give us 35. That means our answer is C. Get ready, call it a day, because we are done. Number 24 should be one of the easiest you have on this test. It says an equilateral triangle is a triangle that has all three sides the same length. What is the perimeter of an equilateral triangle whose sides are five inches? So in this case, we have a situation where we have this triangle, it tells you it's equilateral, and usually they would expect you to know that equilateral means that all three sides are the same. In this case though, they actually told it to you, so there's no reason for you to get this wrong. 
Now, the one thing you may have forgotten is what does the word perimeter mean? Remember, perimeter just means the distance around the outside. So that means that if one of these sides is 5, we know equilateral means that all three will be 5. So now we're looking at this as our entire perimeter. So if I just add these up, it should go ahead and give us our final answer. So we got 5 plus the 5 plus another 5 is going to give us 15, which is answer C for our final answer. So call it a day because we're done. So 25 has quite a bit going on here. Let's go ahead and take a look. It says, Fred wishes to enclose a square garden with wire whose sides measure 20 feet. If he decides to have the wire go around the garden five times, how much will the wire cost him if wire costs 40 cents for a spool of 50 feet? So let's just break down each of the steps here so we can go ahead and get this answer. First off, it's mentioning the fact that this is a square, so all the sides are equal, and the sides are 20 feet each. So we have... A square here 20 each and if we're going all the way the around the outside that means we've got to hit up each one of these sides and we're actually going to go around five times so first off let's see how much one time around is we got 20 plus 20 is 40 plus another 20 is 60 plus another 20 is 80 so this whole thing is 80 all the way around and we're doing it five times so I'm just going to multiply that guy by five well, 8 times 5 is 40, with the 0 on the end there, it means that all the way around here is going to be 400. Now we have to take a look here, we're buying spools that are 50 feet each. So how many times does 50 go into 400? Well, I know 50 goes into 100 twice, so if I just multiply that by 4, we'll get to the 400. So that means that 400 divided by 50 is going to be 8. So we need 8 of these spools at 40 cents a piece, so now I'm doing 8 times the 40 cents a piece. And 8 times 4 is 32, so this is, and bring the 0 with you, we're going to end up getting $3.00. And 20 cents. So again, 8 times the 40 cents is going to give us 320 for a final answer. So this answer here is B. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today. But remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ABSBAT.